Hey everybody! How are you doing? Last Outrider here with another White Dwarf data sheet for you. This time we're going to talk about Garantius, the Forgotten Knight. Or you could just call him the Green Knight, which is what I do. And of course, first, we shall always start with the fluff. Deep. In the Segmentum Obscurus lies Alaric Prime, an ancient and hide-bound world of toiling peasants and haughty nobles. At the center of the biggest landmass is Sacred Mountain, a blessed peak that rises from the heart of Alaric Prime's largest island. Beneath the mountain, there is rumored to be a vault of archaeotech and lost lore, over which Garantius, the Forgotten Knight, stands guard. Ancient and mysterious, Garantius has defended the vault and the world of Alaric Prime since time immemorial. Whenever the planet is threatened, the Forgotten Knight will rise from his tomb and march upon the enemies of Alaric Prime. Boom. There you go. So he sounds like a Green Knight kind of uh, Celtic mythology thing going on here. And I don't think it can be from uh, time immemorial because, well, you know, we're only talking about human civilization here. So you're talking maybe a few hundred thousand years, assuming they had imperial knights back there. But never mind. Let's go on to his stat line because this guy is a monster. All right. He has a weapon skill of, what is that? Five? Yes. Ballistic skill. Five. And um, ba-boom. Oh, uh, okay. What? Oh, I see. Now, armor size. Front armor is 13. Side armor is 12. Rear armor is 12. He has six hull points. And is that uh, initiative or toughness of four and attacks of three? This is a really crappy rendition. Huh. Go with toughness, then. Okay, but that's really, let's see, he counts as a unit type, he's a vehicle, super heavy walker, and he's a character. Yes, I believe this is the first uh, knight character that I'm aware of. I'm sure there are probably more out there. His unit composition is one and unique, so you're not taking more than him. And now, here's the crazy part. This is his list of special rules. He has fear. Hammer of Wrath, Invincible Behemoth, It Will Not Die, Move Through Cover, Relentless, Smash and Strike Down. Now, the It Will Not Die is especially useful for this guy because it really preserves your point cost uh, for them. Uh, many people can, you know, spend the points for an Imperial Knight and find it blown up, and this one at least, wow, uh, keeps that going up. And of course, the move through cover means you don't have to worry about. Well, anyways, it's 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 very useful. Now, it doesn't stop there because well, let's go on to his war gear. He's going to come with a heavy stubber a thermal cannon, and a reaper chainsword, and of course, the mandated ion shield. But it's not a normal ion shield. No, no, no. No. This one is called the Shield of Martyrs. Yes. And what does it do, you ask? Well, what it does is, let me just read the fluff on it. They actually have some fluff for his shield. It says... Some say that Gerontius is a ghost. Others, that he is immortal or has been reborn countless times. Whatever the truth, Gerontius's rules certainly fit his background. He is virtually invincible. 
with his ion shield giving him a three plus and vulnerable save and the it will not die special rule Durantius can soak up vast amounts of firepower as a result I'd put him right at the front of any army leading the charge against the enemy it's a risky tactic but the attention he'll attract should ensure that he and not the units advancing behind him are the target of enemy fire you'd be surprised how easily you can panic people into charging something big and scary at them making them forget their plans and aim everything that they have at the imperial knight bearing down on them to the exclusion of all else He'll almost certainly take some damage, but fortunately, Durantius can run and shoot every turn. So, he should be able to close the gap with the enemy pretty quickly, while still dishing out the damage with his Thermal Cannon, which, at Ballistic Skill 5, is likely to hit its target more times than it will miss. Nice. Target choices for Garantius would be vehicles, um, other super heavies, land raiders, monoliths, obelisks, uh, riptides, any big thing that you basically... Oh, and don't forget fortifications. Anything that your troops have trouble destroying, basically. Remember, he can fire his thermal cannon and charge... A different target yeah I, that, that, that tactic was wiped out quite a while ago I think in 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 sixth edition when it first came out but we're back to doing that again with Imperial Knights um, so long as he fires his heavy stubber at it he has to fire his heavy stubber at it as well make the most of this and shoot units he might struggle to fight before charging something he can smash easily that's how you do it so you can see this is what I'm saying here is this guy is basically the aggro magnet for your army nobody else is gonna care what is around you now you have to remember if you take this guy make sure your opponent reads his data slate because if you don't then he won't be appropriately terrified of what he's about to face. You want to tell everybody, this motherfucker has, uh, it will not die and everything on it. He just crushes everything. Get it worked up. Hype him, hype him, hype him, so that when you place him on the table in the forefront, boom, you want everything to be focused on him. And put your other guys on the round, uh, on the flanks, doing whatever they are, taking points, doing objectives, whatever they need to do, as long as everybody's scared of this Titan. Of course, if they don't know the rules, they'll just think he's a green Imperial Titan, and they might not get the attention that you want him to get. So don't keep him a secret. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's, that's really what you have to say about this guy. He's pretty amazing. Try him out, and let me know. Bye. Hmm.